Good morning, Streetswood Falcons. This week is February 1st through February 5th. Let's go to kindergarten for the letter of the week. Hi, my name is Claire and I'm with Jackson and Brooklyn from Miss McDaniel's class. Can you tell me what the letter of the week is? H. What sound does it make? <gasps> Good job. What are some things that start with H? Horse, house, hamburger. Thank you, kindergarten. Now to our reporter for our story highlights. Hi, here are our high flyers for resiliency. Kindergarten, Margo, Lincoln, Tayson, first. Lila, Ali, Ava, second. Paisley, Valerie, third. Liberty, Sophia, fourth. Davis, Ian, fifth. Tatum, Cash, and Trigan. Good job, high flyers. We'd like to thank the Lindsay family for donating all the pizza for last week's reward party. Our new goal is 70,000. We currently have 62,920 care card points. Keep up the fantastic work, Falcons. Hi, I'm here with Ms. Wetzel. She's our school's orchestra advisor. How long have you been teaching orchestra? I've been teaching orchestra about 25 years. It's been a long time and I love it. Hmm, nice. Uh, what's your favorite instrument to play? Well, I'd have to say the violin because that's the first one I learned. That's the one I started on, but I love all the string instruments. I love the violin and the viola and the cello. They're all great. Cool, I like the violin too. When did you start playing? When I was in the fourth grade, there was a teacher who came into my classroom and she said, we're starting an orchestra. And anybody who wants to be in the orchestra can learn to play an instrument. And I was so excited and I ran home and I said, Mom, Mom, I want to be in the orchestra. All the little girls wanted to learn the flute, so I thought I should learn the flute. And she said, well, we'll see. And I thought, oh, that means no, I probably can't learn an instrument. And I went to school the next day and when I came home, there was a violin sitting right there on the table. And she said, would you like to learn the violin? And I said, yes, yes, I was so excited. And it turned out to be absolutely the right decision to learn the violin. That was my instrument. That's a nice story. Um, what are some of your favorite experiences playing your violin? Playing the violin or any of the string instruments is so much fun. You get to do all kinds of different groups. And in the summers, for example, I get to play at the Sandy Amphitheater and the Murray Amphitheater in what's called a pit orchestra. And we play in shows. And we play shows like Beauty and the Beast and The Little Mermaid and The Lion King, all those great movies that you've seen. We do them as a stage show, and that's really fun. I've also gotten to play on stage with the Utah Symphony. So that was great. Nice. Why do we have to be in fourth and fifth grade uh, before we can be an orchestra? Fourth and fifth graders are so smart. They're at a time in their development where they can really, really learn things quickly. They're big enough to hold the instrument and they're smart enough to get involved and it's a great group, a great age to work with and I just love being with the fourth and fifth graders. Yeah, I think fourth and fifth grade is the good age. What is orchestra? Yes. We meet on Tuesday and Thursday mornings before school, all year long, every Tuesday and Thursday morning. The kids are here bright and early and we're playing fun songs. Hmm. Thank you, Ms. Wetzel. Thank you. It was nice to be here with you today. This Sunday is the Super Bowl. Let's see who people are rooting for. I am going to be rooting for the Buccaneers because hopefully Tom Brady gets a win and then he leaves the rest of us alone and retires. I am rooting for the Kansas City Chiefs because they won the last year's Super Bowl and this they can they're going to win this year again and um, they can also beat the other team. I am rooting for the Chiefs because they are going to win again in the Super Bowl. This year, I'm rooting for the Chiefs in the Super Bowl because I want Tom Brady to lose. 
I am rooting for the Kansas City Chiefs because me and my dad are big fans. I am rooting for the Chiefs because I really like the Chiefs and most of my family likes the Chiefs too. For the Super Bowl, I'm rooting for the Kansas City Chiefs. Why, you might ask? Well, there are six people associated with the Kansas City Chiefs that got their start in Utah. We have the former BYU safety, Daniel Sorensen, the former Utah State running back, Darwin Thompson, Marcus Kemp, a former Leighton High wide receiver, the Chiefs coach, Andy Reid, went to BYU, the defensive quality control coach, Alex Whittingham, who played for Utah, his dad is also Kyle Whittingham, and the offense quality control coach, Porter Ellett, a BYU grad. Look at all these Utah ties. Go Chiefs! Hi, I'm here with Brooklyn. What instrument do you play? The ukulele. How old were you when you started? I started when I was seven years old. Whose idea was it to start learning this instrument? It was my idea. And what made you decide to play the ukulele? Um, what made me decide is because my grandpa, he plays a lot of music. He used to be in a lot of bands. And I wanted to play an instrument, and I thought the ukulele sounded the best, so I started playing. That's really neat. Thank you, Brooklyn. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Now for Sprucewood Current Events. Groundhog day, Groundhog's Day is tomorrow. Let's see if spring is just around the corner or if we have a few more weeks of winter. See you next week, Falcons.